Hi, and welcome to this Poi-based tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to use Poi's that were transferred to a Snooper satellite navigation system via Poi-Base. To do this, you will need to have installed at least the Snooper software version 3.0.1.24, and you also will need to have transferred custom points of interest to your Snooper via Poi-Base for PC, or the Poi-Base web version. The POIs consist of BMP and CSV files which are processed by the SatNav. In the main menu, click on the display. The POIs are in the Navigate To tab under User POI. You will now see a list of the POI categories you installed. Please note that the POIs you will see will be the ones you installed which don't necessarily include the ones shown in this video. Use the arrows to scroll. You can only search one POI category at a time, and you can also only activate one category for display on the map at a time. While this lets you download a lot of POIs to your device, as only displaying or searching one type at a time won't overload it, it's also a bit of a disadvantage to be restricted to one category at a time. As an example, we'll select 5-star campsites. You can now choose whether to search by name, current position, a different position, or along the route. We'll pick current position. In the next screen, you can select the radius. We're taking 60 kilometers, but this option will be set in miles if you're in the UK. You'll now see a list of the poise within a 60 kilometer radius and can select one. Under the name, you'll see a more detailed description of the POI, which is shorter than usual for POI-based POIs, as it has to fit in one line for this system. The font is also rather small. Nonetheless, it includes all important details such as postcode, name, phone number, number of pitches and price. Tap Map to view the POI on the map. This is the icon and it's also got a pin on it, as it's the one that's selected. All POIs in the selected category will be displayed on the map. We'll use a category with a lot of points of interest to demonstrate this, such as average price diesel. This category contains up-to-date petrol prices, allowing you to find reasonably priced petrol stations without being online. Select Find Around Current Position. We'll pick the 60 km radius again. You'll see a list of petrol stations. Select one to activate it. And as with the campsites, you'll see a brief description at the top. Tap Map to view the POI on the map. If we scroll around the map, we'll also see other POIs in the category on the map. As you can see here, the same applies to the map you will see while navigating normally. Go back and click X at the top right to access this. You may have to zoom out and scroll around to find some of the POIs in question, as demonstrated here. You can also install speed cameras via POI base. As you can only activate one POI category for display on the snooper, we advise downloading speed camera packages as these will bundle numerous speed camera categories into one. Go back to the user POI by clicking on the map and selecting them under the Navigate To tab. The speed cameras can be displayed on the map, but this sat-nav does not offer the possibility to set up audio warnings when approaching them. I'm selecting fixed speed cameras. Just selecting the category will activate them for display on the map, so we can ignore the search interface. Go back as before. These are two test speed cameras I set up for demonstration purposes, but we can also check for real cameras. For example, there's a well-known one in Koblenz on the Mosel Bridge. As you can see, if you zoom out far enough, they disappear, but normally you won't be driving at that zoom level. Here's the Mosel Bridge. If you zoom in, you'll see the fixed speed camera on the bridge. While this isn't ideal as you cannot set up warnings, it's still quite useful. So these are the possibilities available on the Snooper at this time. While they are quite limited, it's still great the manufacturer has made it possible to import custom points of interest in the new software version. It would be better if more than one category could be searched at a time, and more than one category could be displayed on the map at the same time. 
The possibility to activate warnings for custom points of interest would be fabulous. That's all for now. We hope this video has provided all the information you need regarding the use of custom points of interest on Snoopers. We hope you enjoy using your SatNav with Poi Base. For more information, go to www.poibase.com.